Hello, people. I am Jabby Kowe, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi there. And uh, on our live stream the other day, about 200,000 people told us that Doni retired. Yes. And then the 201,000th person was like, hey, did you know Doni retired? MS Doni retired. Yeah. And, Sad. And then people super chatted and said, hey, uh, MS Doni retired. I was like, okay, who's MS Doni? I got a funny feeling. And then someone got mad. And they're like, how do you not know? I'm like, I'm kidding. I, it's just yeah, we, a lot of people have. So. We know who Emma Stoney is. A while back, uh, one of the earliest films that Achara and I actually watched together was starring Sushant Singh Rajput, and it was yes. Emma Stoney's movie. It was one of the trailer reactions I've done with my brother, it was for Emma Stoney. We we're very well aware of who he is. And uh, it's just kind of hilarious. All you had to do is like DVR back like a second and someone else said, MS Doni retired. And we like started out the live stream. If you want to see our reaction to it, our live stream started out with looking at MS Doni's uh, Instagram post. Yeah. As well as... um. And then I forget the Reyna? name. Reyna? Reyna? I forgot, yeah. I forgot the other his, cricket his, player's name. His friend who was like, yeah, I'm going to retire too. So anyway, this is called MS Doni announces international retirement and ode to Captain Cool. Thank you to... Crick Buzz, the YouTube channel, uh, for making this video, and uh, hopefully you're cool with us doing a reaction to it. And if you're not, please just comment below, and uh, we'll see that comment, and uh, and we'll gladly take the video down if you're not happy with that. But uh, hopefully you're cool with it. Here we go. I don't need a sentence. Three words will do. The coolest one. Uh, I think he's made a lot of selfless choices uh, along uh, along the way in his journey. That's who MS is for you. Uh, for me, MS Dhoni is is a, is a very uh, passionate. Uh, cricketer, uh, knows his, his, his ability and always uh, backs his ability with, uh, with calmness uh, personified. He became a leader, uh, millions ko inspire kiya, uske baad uh, log un, uske jasa banna chahane lage, umeed karte hai ki retire hi na ho, kabhi bar ek din ki sab ko retire to ho nahi hai, ki joh unka impact raha hai na, puri team pe, puri gain baas pe, bharti cricket pe, woh kabli tarif hai, aur unko, unki bharpai karna itna saan hai. Everyone is. It's incredible that someone who came from places like Ranchi, Kharagpur, and then strode across the world, seen like a giant, never seemed to have any trouble adapting to a different level of cricket. That's what differentiates champions from others. I didn't hear of him really for a long time until a producer told me. I've just seen this man bat, he's got long hair, he says he walks like a bull, he bats like he owns the place. Forget everybody, remember MS Dhoni. If you get a chance to get a chance, you want to get a chance to get a chance to run out. It was a big deal for them, but Dhoni is not a big deal for the emotion. तो अगर मैं थोड़ा एक्सप्रेशन दूँ फेस का तो ऐसा था मैं ऐसा नहीं हो सकता ऐसा करके मैं बोला था अपने आप को और हम लोग एक्चुअली वह लाफिंग कि द्रविड भी साथ साथ में थे और जो कि द्रविड बहुत शांत स्वभाव के प्लेयर हैं हम लोग बात कर रहे कि यार ये एक्चुअली रियल में हो रहा है जिस तरह से बल्लेबाजी जो इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे जो एक शुरुआती दौर का जो मैच था वहाँ तक दर्शा दिया कि कितने बड़े प्लेयर हैं और कितना महान प्लेयर बनने के लिए भारत के लिए खेल रहा है। एनीवन हु न्यू एमएस एट दैट पॉइंट ऑलवेज न्यू द फैक्ट दैट ही वाज अ वेरी अस्ट्यूट क्रिकेटर वेरी अस्ट्यूट पर्सन समवन हु वाज very sharp at all points, you know, he was he was on the button, he knew what he wanted to do, he was very clear about, you know, what he was trying to achieve for himself as a cricketer who represented the country. And also, you know, when he was a captain of the team, you also felt that, you know, he wanted all of us to do well. And he built that kind of an atmosphere. When I went to MS and said, you know, give me the ball, I want to bowl in the bowl out. He said, yeah, okay, do it, I know you'll do it. So I think the beauty of that World Cup was that everyone in that, in that ground, no matter where we were on the field, when he made that decision to give Jogi the ball, 
we just trusted you know so every decision that was made every call that was taken was trusted by each one of us on the on the field and just off the field just outside the ropes as well so, and i think that's what created that magic of 2007 that world t20 in south africa changed a lot of things we know it led to the birth of t20 cricket as modern form as we know it but the single biggest game beyond being the catalyst for the ipl was the arrival of ms dhoni as someone who could lead from the front who in the going what got tough was really calm as the first we saw of him and yet who in times of victory was not grandstanding was not putting himself there in front coming in becoming the lead player for chennai super kings it started a love story with chennai super kings that has just grown and grown and grown and grown and, and magnificent the first ipl in 2010 all those champions league trophies but more than anything else the finishes i asked rahul dravid once many years ago i said why dhoni why not dhoni at 3 He said, "Because nobody will finish like him at number six. He's far more valuable at six. We'll find a three, but we won't find someone who finishes like him." And then the legend of Dhoni finishing grew. That came in Dharamshala, where, as I as I've often said, I saw this ball, white ball, going against the night sky, like it was a meteor headed somewhere. Wow. Uh, the game in Sri Lanka, uh, where what 14, 15 together, the last over, refusing singles, wanting to finish it himself. The aura, the just the feel of Dhoni, the finisher, just grew and grew and grew. And to be honest, even from the commentary box, if it was 90 of seven overs, as it once was in the IPL. You didn't think it was over. You said, "How is he going to find a way out? Not will he find a way out?" Hmm. 2011 is, is, is something uh, which uh, which was very important tournament when you are playing in front of your home crowd. Uh, World Cup is, is is a big stage, and uh, as far as bowling was concerned, you know, for a for a keeper to be constantly communicating with with bowler at times is it's is hard uh, job to do, and and he had enough trust in me. Uh, to to take the initiative or take the lead with uh, with that regard, uh, that really worked very well uh, throughout uh, my career and and MS as uh, as captain, uh, you know, was always uh, the case. For Mahendra Singh, Dhoni's ये ही class थी, ये खास बात थी कि वो team को अपने साथ लेके चलते थे और आप 2011 की बात करें, मैं तो कहूँगा कि उसके बाद से लेके अब तक 2019 तक भी कि अगर आप विराट कोहली की भी बात करें, coach Ravi Shastri की बात करें, तो उनके लिए भी एक pillar है. युवराज सिंह जगह महेंद्र सिंह धोनी गए तो गए और उन्होंने क्या किया वो तो मुझे कहने की जरूरत नहीं आंकड़े दर्शाते हैं कि केवल स्किल ही नहीं उनका जो दिमाग है उनकी जो विल थी वो उन्हें कहाँ तक लेके गई है The bowlers are, are feeling the pressure, and they're committing those errors, which he can really capitalize on, and and that is something which uh, which shows in MS Dhoni the uh, the great finisher. He's only been captain of India for six years. In those six years, MS Dhoni has got IPL titles, Champions League titles, but with India, he's got a World T20, he's got a World Cup win. and you could say that all that is because there were all these great players around him then he comes to this to england for the champions trophy and he says i need an opening batsman so who's my opening batsman it is rohit sharma you're my opening batsman it's changed rohit sharma's life what a role he has had to play in the evolution of chahal and kuldeep i've been very lucky to have had the stump mic turned on and i've heard some very very interesting instructions there's almost as if someone's providing the voice voice and the bowlers are following i think he's played a magnificent role in the development of people and i think in the smooth transition of dhoni to kohli was is, is one of his biggest moments i think he's got an uncanny ability to just live in the moment and back a player when he asks him to do difficult things a single double mein unhone apni life zindagi bana di aur aur bharat ko phir chhakke jhoko se finish kiya game ko his biggest legacy has has been uh, the fact that every time he's he's there at the crease you have hope you know it doesn't matter what the situation is he has played uh, that kind of innings uh, pretty much uh, throughout his, his his career i as a cricketer as a friend i'm uh, grateful to him for you know all that he's been to me and uh, the leader that he's been to me alag se kabiliyat thi alag sa talent tha jo ki at the best highest level pe unhone explore kiya so thank you dhoni great captain or great team man or indian cricket ko jo 
इतना योगदान और आगे तक लेके गए उसके लिए मेरा ही नहीं सबका थैंक यू वेरी मच वॉट इन बियर हिम टू मी इवन मोर was once he gave up the captaincy there was no song and dance about it there was no grand standing come look at me me captain greatest i am abdicating look at me no just that's it for me thank you aur main to hamesha se kehta raha hu ki mahender singh dhoni jab bhi jayenge tab aapko unki na real value unki pata lagegi this thought while looking at him i hope you guys take this as a compliment at least towards ms doni but he to me on the field looks like a maori warrior you know what i'm saying yeah. he just has that kind of strength about himself and i understand india's got warriors and they're the first to create martial arts and etc i'm just saying like that's the thing that pops into my head when i look at him especially with the head the long hair and whatnot mm -hmm. he just has that kind of maori warrior sort of fierceness about him the way he carries himself and the way he was described and like wow he's He looks like a warrior on the field, and obviously, I don't know as much about MS Dhoni as those of you who've been watching him for years. For me, it would seem at a, a cursory glance that if um, Sachin Tendulkar is Michael Jordan, MS Dhoni is like Kobe Bryant. Right. You know, like just one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, you know? and I think the the thing that stood out to me when we watched the MS Dhoni movie was just how calm he was, and right. then to hear all of these people who were close to him or who've been following his career for so long and who really know him on a deep level and have them say yeah he's just this really calm person and and he exudes those leadership skills that you want from someone who's a team captain to be someone who is so talented and yet be okay with not taking the spotlight you know like even the way that he retired that clip we saw from Instagram very you know, humble yeah you know. we were baffled because we were like is he going to say anything? Yeah, so it was very simple. Yeah, it was very simple and and just very nice. Yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised if at some point you see some sort of speech like the way Sachin Tendulkar did, but um Yeah. It does seem like he's taking a quiet leave even though you can't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, you, when, you, when you're a legend, yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you you can't. You just can't. Everyone's noticing and a lot of people feel it. And there was a number of people who were saying Sushant Singh Rajput you know, perished this year and uh, MS Dhoni is retiring and like, and of course, you know, the pandemic and all that stuff. They were using MS Dhoni's retirement as a means of, an, another means of saying what a troubled year 2020 is. But I don't think that MS Dhoni's retirement should be looked at that way. It should be a celebration of all the things that yeah. he's done. That's amazing. Why he retired now, uh, I'm not clear about. I don't know. Like I, nothing has been sent my way as to why he chose this time to retire. The fact is that he chose to. You know, it, it's a wear and tear on your body. Yeah, and leave on a high. Leave, exactly. I mean, it's a weird thing to bring up, but like Breaking Bad left in its fifth season instead of continuing it until it jumped the shark, just, yeah. just to make more money. It seems like he's he's done what he's come to do. He's ready to move on to the next phase of his life. Before I uh, get into that, I was gonna talk about the movie. Uh, quick buzz, there is a tool in Adobe Audition you can use to get rid of that, that ringing sound on certain interviews. Because there was someone being interviewed and you could hear ee ringing yeah. sound. That's easy to remove with Adobe Audition. It's like called noise print or something like that. I've had to do it. And so believe me, it'll save you some troubled frustrations down the road whenever you come across that kind of a situation again where you got noise problems. But uh, yeah, with regards to the film, I don't know how accurate it was. I don't know how, you know, if it was depicting his romance uh, accurately, but one of the cool aspects of it was seeing his uh, marriage and how that came about, you know, because the girl that he was interested in, how he met her and all that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, she kept coming back into his life. That's what I recall. It was nice. It was just a cool thing. The thing that I found interesting about the film as well is, you know, quite often when a dramatization is made of someone's life, they're usually dead, <laughs> right? They're usually like long gone or... Well, hopefully not. But, yeah, but I get what you're often, saying. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. people don't often get movies made about them while they're still alive. If a movie is being made about you while you're still alive, it might be that you're already really old and, and your best days are behind you. But to have a movie made about you while you're still at the peak of your career, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's actually pretty interesting. And I, and I think just shows how much of a legend you are. Sure. 
That makes you know? sense. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But I, as soon as you said that, I was thinking about Sanjay Dutt. Maybe that's more common in Bollywood. That's what I was about to say or suggest is that maybe in India you see it more often, these films that are biopics before the pe the person perishes. Growing up in the West, you you would normally see a biopic after someone has, has passed away or is really old. It's crazy. I, obviously, like, we cannot feel the things that most of you guys feel when seeing this video, when hearing his retirement. I didn't even know what a cricket was until I started paying attention to India. In that regard, I kind of apologize in a way. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. Like I'm in my head going, I can't appreciate this on the same level as you guys do. The reason why we're making this video is to just share our respects yes. for MS Dhoni. Just as a nod, like that's, it was cool. And you know? I think another thing that I really liked that people were saying in this was just how much he seems to be a champion for new and young talent. And I think that's really telling of the type of person he is to be such a team player, to be a good captain, to be able to see that, you know, yes, while I may be super talented and all, the team is more important. Mm -hmm. And the next generation of players who are also gonna hopefully become legends in their own right, need to be fostered, need to, you know, just be supported in order to help them grow to be the best versions of themselves. I think that's wonderful. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And uh, if you have any fun MS Dhoni stories of you know, your favorite moments, most memorable moments of either watching him at a game or even on TV, the, the moments that stand out to you, please comment below. We'd love to hear your experiences with that.